Hey guys, what's going on? Andrew coming at you. Just got back on my run, and when I was running, I was thinking a lot of you liked my Swedish homes versus American homes video, and I was thinking to myself, what are some things I had in America in my apartments and homes that I don't have in Sweden as a standard that I wish I had? Now before I begin, so many people are going to tell me in the comments, but Andrew, you can buy this here. I know Sweden's not a third world country, but the idea is I live in a rental and I don't feel like I should spend like thousands and thousands of crowns to upgrade my rental apartment. When I lived in rental apartments in the States, this just came as standard and I wish it did here. Number one is simply like locks on doors. I don't know what it is, but every apartment I've been to or home I've been to for the most part, and I'm sure some have it, is like bedrooms and certain rooms don't have locks on doors the only rooms i see that have a lock on the door is like a is the bathroom and if i'm staying at a family or friend's house i don't know i just feel like if i'm gonna be changing in a, in a room or doing something in the room i feel like a lack of privacy by not being able to lock the door for example i have an apartment here i got two bedrooms and the people that used to live here used to uh share the apartment and uh, there's no locks on the doors or the bedrooms. And it just feels like that's standard, especially you have a roommate. If, you're, if you don't want them coming into your room for whatever reason, you should be able to lock that door. Uh, I've been to houses, it's the same thing. There's five rooms in the houses, there's five, six people living there, no locks on the doors besides the bathroom. I feel like that's something that should just be standard in every home. I have seen plenty of locks on American uh, homes and apartments all the time, constantly. Uh, it's just nice to have that extra level of privacy. Number two, and I know people are gonna yell at me, but Andrew, you can get this here. But it's not standard, and that is screens on the windows and then on the doors. And I think it has to do with how the windows and doors open. So because we don't have air conditioning, you can either burn up in your house or you could open up all your windows. Well, what happens when you open up all your windows? Constantly, bugs are coming into your place. And I am honestly not the biggest fan of flying bugs. I do not like mosquitoes and they always tend to bite me. Uh, and I see this in homes and I'll put it this way. I've seen more homes without screens in the homes, like, you know, screens on the windows, than I've seen the opposite. It almost seems like most homes don't have screens. To me, it doesn't seem like that big of a deal, but I have a feeling it has to do with how are windows in America open? They tend to open like they slide straight up like this. So you can open up your window like halfway and you do that and the bottom half is going to be a screen. Whereas the windows in Sweden, they open up a little bit more, which is a nice bonus, but you got all the bugs and things coming in. And I just really feel like that should be something standard in every Swedish home because you really don't know what you're missing. There's just something pleasant about it. Plus, if you have a, an animal, like I'm about to get a cat, we basically got to like cat proof the whole house, cat proof the the windows, cat proof the door so the cat doesn't, you know, escape or get outside. And I just wish that was something standard in every apartment. Number three, going on the fact that it can get hot in Sweden. Okay, there's no air conditioning in Sweden. I understand it because it's not like super hot here or humid here. It happens and when it does happen, it's maybe hot for like a week or two max. That's normally how it's been when I've been here for the the Swedish summer, but what I think would be awesome is to have a ceiling fan. I've had a lot of apartments and homes with a ceiling fan, especially above the bedroom. For me, I don't care if I'm hot because I can take like a cold shower. That's what I typically do in the summer. If I get really, really hot, I'll just take like a cold shower after a run, or if it's like a 90 degree day, I'll take a couple cold showers just really quick just to cool myself off. But I hate trying to go to sleep and it's just super hot and I'm super hot. Now, although that's rare, it happens a good bit in the summer, and I just think it would be awesome if there were ceiling fans, especially when you don't have, like, you don't have air conditioning as a standard. I don't think it's a big deal in a bedroom to have a ceiling fan installed. Don't get me wrong. I'm sure people in the comments are going to tell me, yeah, I have one, or you have one. But my point is, I just wish it was standard in all apartments because it would just be nice to cool off in the summer and have a fan. And honestly, sometimes I might even use it in the winter because uh, I just like to have a little bit of cool air. It just really depends. Uh, maybe I wouldn't use it in the winter, but I, I, I feel like I would use it more over the year. Like I would use it more often for sure. So that's what I miss. Those are the, the three things. Is there anything you've seen in an American home that you wish you could have or vice versa? If you're in an American home, but you're a Swede, what do you wish you had in your home? Thanks, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hey,